Hey. Hey, baby. You ready? I'm ready. I might don't look ready, but I'm ready. Okay, give me one second. I gotta close my patio door, okay? Okay, take your time. Right. Happy oh, birthday, I feel special. Let me get out and show her who the fuck I am. Oh, she added me. Oh, I wasn't ready. Wait. <laughs> Do I need to be in the car? Sit down. What this, this light is better, but you gotta sit still. Okay, I'm gonna sit no, still. Long as you sit still, that's best. But that was good light. All right, what's your name, honey? Um, I got three names. What name you want me to call you? Lynn. Well, you got, tell me all three names. I'm curious. And Travis, that's my boy name. Lynn, that's that motherfucker don't give a fuck name. And Lynnasia's when I look like you. <laughs> oh, you look like me. Wait a minute. You look like me? Are you wear wigs? Yeah, I'm trying to get one installed now. I'm going to get one installed now. Oh, let me see it. You about to get a wig installed? Let me see. Is it a lace front? A clothes It's a brown you want me to show it? I was gonna wait on my supporters because I go, I go live. I'm a, um okay. I like just started like four years ago going live, but I just started getting monetized last year. Okay. And they kept begging me to go to your live, but I was in a relationship. But I just recently just got out of it today. It, it was kind of toxic, and he they felt like he was using me. You know? Okay, so you just broke up with your boyfriend today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you have a wig you're about to install. I'm just I want to see the wig. Do you mind? I don't mind. I got two of them. I'm going to see which one you feel like. Because it's my birthday. Um, my birthday was just passed. April the 8th. That was Saturday. Happy birthday. Your birthday just passed or is coming? It's Saturday. I, it just passed. Okay. Happy belated okay. birthday. Okay. Um, it's one of the weeks. Let me see. So you about to get one installed? I'm nosy. We're going okay. to go to the questions in one second, y'all. Bear okay. with me. They probably going to talk about my status and stuff. I don't care. What status? Um... I'm HIV. I'm um, positive. Okay. This on um, one of my weeks. Let me see. Um, I'm trying to get it. Um, oh, oh, okay. Oh, it looks like it's okay. The front is laid good. Okay. So that's one wig. It's a ponytail. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, it's the up. Do you know that little wig okay. style they be getting? Yep. That's one style. All the way What's up? the other one? Okay. So you gonna choose between the two? Ma'am. Huh? What'd you say? You said there's another one? Yes, ma'am. It's one more. I'm finna show. It's 26 inches. Ooh, 26. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it ain't long as yours. Yours look like it's about 30 inches. It might be something like oh. that. Th 28, 30. I like long hair. Okay. Um. <laughs> I had to tear it open. Um. This is the other one. You want me to pull it out the thing? No, I, I, I can tell that one's crimped. Yes, it's crimped. It was, um, it's an updo. Oh, okay. They both look good. Okay, okay. Now back to our regular schedule program. I got you. Um, I think I like the first one. You like the first one? I did what I was going to do. They yeah. never seen me like it. I think I like the first one. Yeah. All right, so this is Lynn. Where you calling me from, honey? Um, oh, I'm in La Place, Louisiana. Louisiana? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how old are you, baby? I'm 26. 26? What you do for a living? Um, I go live. Um, I was working at a restaurant called Chick. Oh, I didn't. Okay, you used to work at a restaurant. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, um, but I'm not going back because that's what me and my ex was working. Okay. So I'm not. I might not go back. Um, okay. What's your zodiac sign, baby? I'm an Aries. Aries. However they say it, girl. I don't even know my own sign. That's <laughs> Aries. I'm not a pronouncer. All right, yes. so this is Lynn, 26, Louisiana, Aries. Do you have any children? No, ma'am. No kids okay um so i appreciate your transparency you did mention that you're hiv positive you're not the first person on my show um that has, that was hiv positive so i appreciate your transparency but we can proceed because you um put it out there and anybody that reaches out to you is already already aware so the honesty is key for me so we definitely can go forward if you're ready i'm okay. ready okay. all right so you broke up with your man today yes ma'am why y'all break up? Um, Are you okay, man? What's wrong, honey? Okay, um, I'm okay. Um, take a breath. 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 It's just me and you. You don't gotta share it if you don't want to. I share it. Um. Okay. 
My supporters, um, they've been trying to get me to break up with him. Like, um, he's they feel like he's a user. Um, and he takes somebody on Instagram. It's a trans. It's a trainee. Um, and he feel like she want him. I she want to use him up for cloud. I guess I don't know. But um, I feel like she don't honestly don't want him. And he he lies like he he be with me, but I feel like he's not all the way with me. In the way I want to be, I I've been looking for love for a long time. Cause um. All I just want to be loved, and they be want me to be with somebody that can, I guess, be, be up there with me. For so he didn't have nothing, and I didn't, I wasn't with him to have to have something or not. I, I go for people. Um, it's it's something. It's some reason that pushed me to be with him, and I just didn't share the reason why I, I want to be with him. Cause when I look in his eyes, it's like I see hurt, and like I've been hurt. Um, and it just, I just seen it in his eyes, and it made me keep being with him. Cause we broke up, we got back together, broke up. This time I'm I'm just totally done with them, and I want well, to move. Let me say forward. this: breakups are real. I think we don't give enough um, credit to the grief of a breakup. So I don't want you to think that you know tears and it just happened today. These are real emotions. I talk to pastors about this, therapists about breakups, oracles. So um, your 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 hurt and pain it's like a death. A breakup is really like a death of a person that was a part of your world and now you have to mag like you know filter it out without them so your, your pain is validated do you think you're ready to meet somebody right now mm, i could but um they told me have self-love and um focus on me well, more, absolutely but... I, I mean yes and that really is the truth like that really honestly is the truth i remember i was going through a breakup and um i was just wondering I was like, I really, really, really liked this person. Like, and I was just like, my fear was I would never like someone as much as I liked him. And I remember I was talking to it, I might've been in a therapy session. And I was like, you know, am I ever gonna like someone? It will love someone as much as I loved him. And it was like, God spoke to me fast. Like the therapist didn't even give me the answer. God was like, you already found the person, your damn self, the woman in the mirror. You love yourself more than you love him. That's why you left his ass. So no, self-love is real. Like, you know, the, the, the bar meter of how a person treats you begins on how you treat yourself, right? And I know it sounds so cliche, but it really is the truth. Like you have to love yourself on a level that people that come into your life have to love you on the same level or it physically, spiritually, emotionally, you won't tolerate it. Because there'll be less in the love that you give yourself. And I don't mean you're making yourself this queen and you're better than other people. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the basic respect level that you have for yourself. And that is very true. That is very true. Um, so no, it does begin there. And when you keep filling yourself up with loving yourself, accepting yourself, you know, people that come into your life, they will have to fill up your cup the same way or you won't even want them. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think you're so, I, I, I appreciate your vulnerability, but let's just for, for having sense, what kind of guy do you like anyways? <laughs> oh, I go for the gangster, want to be gangster guy. Well, that's the right, problem right there. That's my problem. That's the problem right there, child. What you, you want a gangster with a Barack Obama um, type of respect. You ain't going to get both. If you want to, Tupac, you're going to get Tupac in all ways. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I just, but I always I, attractive or like somebody like, with, I don't want to say they don't give a, can we cuss on your page? Of course. They don't give a fuck attitude. I just want somebody like, be a stand up guy, but always, um, stand on his business, be about what he's saying about it. I feel like that's gangster, but that might not be what I, I really won't. I might. That's what I be. That's what I'm used to being with people like that. They claim they're gangsters and all that. But I really just want a nice guy that loves me for me, no matter what I got going on, no matter what I am, or whatever. I just want to love me for me. And they are really? always dated the guys that like. I'm sorry, are you trying to say something? No, go ahead. I like listen to you. I'm 26. I might like date a 21 year old, 19, 20. I never had a guy. I had one guy that I wanted to be my boyfriend, but he was like 38. But I never messed with any older guys. And they tell me people I might need to go with somebody older, but I never really liked anyone that was older. Okay, okay. And I never really been 
ain't with nobody that's older. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What are your deal breakers? What don't? You, what will you not tolerate? A liar, a cheater, and a person that's not loyal. But I feel like loyal, um, really, okay. just so loyal. Okay. Does he have to look a certain way? I don't know, because the motherfucker, I, the last one I was with, they say he went all in cute. So, like, as long as he okay, he don't have to be all pretty boys, and he don't have to be ugly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, as long as he's making some kind of money, because I've always been with guys that ain't really making no money, ain't had nothing. So I might need to try somebody that make money or got, or got some kind of income so he can feel, see how it feels to have okay. money in. Um, yes. So um, now, would you date a bisexual gay man or a trans man, or do you want a, just a gay man? I've been dating bisexual men, I guess, confused men, but I would love a gay man as long as he's strictly the man, like he's more top. And top, I'm about him. And the top, okay. you know, understand what I yes. mean about it? Yes, I do. So bottom is more feminine and top is more masculine? Yes, ma'am. Yes. But when it, comes to the bedroom, three years. when it comes to bedroom, it, it might be versatile. It might sometimes he might be. I ain't gonna say be the ma feminine one, but like, can I um <laughs> a reach around for me is like my man please me and masturbate me with his um, hand. Okay. Sometimes he try to give me oral, but you don't like. I'm used to that. I'm, no, I'm more feminine, but I I still put up with it. Be my man. Okay, you long try to please me. Sure, man. All right, Lynn, we got to do the Kendra cam. That's when you stand up and we see your full body. Oh, girl. Um, okay. Don't scare me. <laughs> um, can you see me? You see? Right. So, yeah, you are skinny. Okay. You got breasts? You got breasts, boo? Not yet. That's a bra. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Great. All right, you definitely thin, baby. Okay. Okay. So, Lynn, we know in your last relationship because it just ended. Um, you don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, the last time? Yeah. Um, um, last night. Was that your boyfriend that you just broke up with? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. It is, this is a very fresh breakup. Yes, ma'am. Just broke up. I feel like we've been broke up, but we wasn't physically broke up. Like, we... Do you I think like there's any chance you guys could get back together? I don't want to get back with him. Okay, so you really are done with that. All right, so why would a guy be lucky to be with you, honey? Because I'm real, I'm me, and I'm a go-getter. I'm going to be me no matter what nobody says or think. Okay. And I got little flaws. I ain't gonna, don't get me wrong, because they probably saying it in the comments. Um, Before I had boyfriends, I like I be with a random guy, because... I'm single, but like I anywhere, anywhere we at, I cut up it. It could be the airport, it could be the bus station, it'd be the car. That's just me. I, I always wanted to be with somebody, but my status kind of slowed me down to just be with one person because I don't want to purposely spread no disease with no one. Because right. I tell everybody my status. I, but they say if you love somebody, why are you still doing it wrong? I. I, I tell them my status like I don't mean to give them nothing if they if they get it from me but that's my man if he want to go at me wrong I feel like that's that's right. Okay, so now it, we're getting deep with it. So um, you told me at the top of the show that you're HIV positive. You're like I told him he's not the first guest on my show that has had HIV and also that guest made it very much aware at the beginning. Um, that is what's important for me. Because again, if you reach out, you know, and you have that decision to make. They're telling me to ask you, because I guess you do share a lot of your life on social media, that you're not currently taking your meds for HIV? Um, yes, ma'am, I stop. Is there any, do you want to share? I don't know, so I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't know too much about, you know, how important it is for you to keep up your medication. I would imagine it's important, but I don't know. So, do you want to share with people why you're not taking your medication anymore? Um, I was giving up. Don't give up. <laughs> I know. Um, 
It's crazy. Um, but um, that's why I stopped. I was. I you got to up, say, like, I you got woke to... up this. Hold on. You woke up this morning. You took a deep breath in, right? Took a deep breath out. That means God, God hasn't given up on you yet. So you can't give up before God gives up. Every day you wake up, God is saying He still needs you here for a reason. So don't give up. Yes, man. Don't give up on yourself. I hate we all have a walk. Say. You know. Listen. We all have a walk in life, right? And um, it's always easy for us to judge everybody. But I always say that if you are a person and you are having sex and you are not um, HIV positive, it's only by the grace of God. If you've ever had sex without protection, without requiring someone to tell you their STD status beforehand, the only reason you're not in right now is by the grace of God. You know, so we have all partaked in um, situations that could make us HIV positive. So, you know, for me, I think it's important that you share it as you are. And if somebody wants to reach out to you, that is their choice. Um, but I don't want you to give up on life because God hasn't given up on your life yet. Yes, ma'am. I had got to the stage I was undetected. Like, I would have just got a shot once every three months. But I had, I think, I don't know if my viral load low or not, because I, I haven't been taking it. I had stopped taking my pills. I was taking it once a day. It's called on Divider, and I was taking it. But I had stopped. Maybe because I, I was depressed. I was all, It was so much going on because I was with my boyfriend since um, the end of December, the beginning of January. And that's like shortly like after that, I kind of stopped taking it. Well, I will say this. I, I do appreciate you being transparent. But if you are going to partake in sex, you need to be as healthy as possible in that manner, right? Yes, and even though... Um, the person, if they sleep with you, they will know what they're getting into. I still think it is your responsibility to be as safe in that way as possible, and that is taking your meds. And again, I don't know. I know HIV used to have this massive stigma many, many years ago, but I know so many people, well, don't know them personally, but I know that people strive every single day. Magic Johnson, we could use him as an ex example, live full lives with HIV. So you can still live a full life with this disease, but you do have to be responsible. So I really do think you should take your medications. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. That was sweet of you. Listen, Lynn, I don't want you to give up, okay? You promise me? I promise. You promise? Okay. Whether you find love or not, you already have it. I love you, and I want you to fill up that love for yourself. I want you to want confident in it, and I just want you to keep inspiring people sharing your truth as much as possible yes ma'am okay so if there is a guy that wants to meet you how can he do so um i have social media where i publicly put my phone number out um don't push the phone number out i man. do it they because people be apple paying me apple paying me and people be really trying to reach out to me oh, okay. and i like got four i got four so, so you, so you want to share your number i will oh okay i don't recommend it but if that's what you want to do you, go ahead what would you like me to do whatever you want to do however you want the person to reach out to you um it's 318 that's the 318. area code. Say two again. Two. that's the area code 318 282 uh 318 282 zero, nine. Zero, two, two. Nine. Two, two. Two, two. 318 282 yes ma'am and i have facebook pages and snapchat and i have instagram all right so the Page is the one you're on right now, right? Oh, I got like five of those. Let's just do the one that you're on right now. That makes it easier. Okay. The one I'm on now is Lynn slash Lynn Travius slash Lynn Asia. And the way to spell those names are L E N slash. What's the day? Is I'm saying it right? The long one. Say again. The slant. The slant. I don't know what you're on. No, so my, I can't see it anymore. The, I'm about the hyphen. I mean, for the slant, like the slant or the dash. Well, it would be to this video so for those that are watching in this video it will be tagged and they'll be able to reach out and you gave out your number too child so i guess i can get that too <laughs> blowing it up now um all right, all right baby boy we have to go um i do want you to definitely take some me time self time get over your boo that you just slept with last night but i want you to fill yourself up with love and walk into this life fully confidently and and sharing your truth as much as possible Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Y'all done got the, y'all done give it a phone number, child. 
9,800 people. 9,800 people. Wow. Um, listen, man, um, let's keep going. I know I spent a 30 minutes on him, but I think it was worthy. I think it was worthy.